That's just laundry. A little dining area. Another little seating area. I love this open kitchen and living room. There's Rob. I really love that big window. This is a bathroom and two extra bedrooms, which I'm not gonna go in there because we're not using those anyway. And then that's the back patio area. It's really kind of windy and chilly out there today. And then there's the bedroom. This is like the master bedroom and the bathroom. This is actually a really huge bathroom. It's kind of crazy, but yep. Anyway, it's cute. It's cute. You guys, I was really the most excited about this because it's a heated pool. And even though it's kind of chilly outside, like probably too cold to normally be swimming um, with the heated pool, I didn't think it'd be too bad. But to be honest, I felt the water and it didn't feel that warm. So I don't know how I feel about it, but look how cool this is. They have like a little grill area, this area to like watch TV. And then you could sit out here and eat. Poor Tup's like very confused. <laughs> hey guys. So we are here. We're getting kind of settled. Rob actually ran out to get some food. I'm kind of looking like a mess because it was a rainy, cold drive here. Um, so that's why my hair looks like this. That's why I look like this. I'm actually extremely tired and I really want to just like stretch out in bed, but we need to eat dinner. I haven't really eaten all day. We tried to stop and get food, but like all the places we tried to stop were only doing drive through and we had to go someplace where we could use the bathroom because we didn't want to get in another car 14 times because it was raining. So we ended up going to a gas station and Rob ate hot dogs, but I didn't eat anything. I don't do that gas station food stuff. Um, but I did have like an apple and a little packet of peanut butter with me. So I ended up eating that, but we also had like some chips in the car this morning, but I haven't really eaten any real food all day and it's like 5.30, I think. So he went out to get food. Sorry, I thought that was him, but it's just like a plant waving in the wind. Anyway, I had not counted that I was gonna write today, but it would be awesome if I could get some words in, although I am feel like I'm fading fast, if I'm being honest. Pork chop definitely is. He just ate and is like passed out on the floor over here near me, but still kind of like out of sorts, so. But anyway, I don't know if other people do this, but every time I go on vacation, I either fall in love with the place we're staying at or like the town that we're visiting, or both. Like, I swear, every time, like, we went to Hot Springs, Arkansas a couple years ago, and I, it was just like, we stayed in a little townhouse on the lake, and it was like a small townhouse, it was not fancy, but I fell in love with it, and I fell in love with that, like, little area of Hot Springs, it's called Hot Springs Village, and then when I went to Atlanta in August, I think it was August, I ended up, like, thinking it was just, like, the coolest, like, so artistic, the areas I went to were all really cool, I was like, oh, this would be a really cool city to live in, and then now here we are, and I don't know about the city yet, because literally we really haven't done anything, and I don't think that there's probably anything special about this city, but um, this house is like, it's kind of echoey. It definitely needs some warmth, but um, it's super cute. I absolutely love how it's set up. I love how open it is. It's like separate spaces, but all in one big space, which I love. And of course I love the enclosed patio with the heated pool, which I really, really, it better be warm enough tomorrow. One of the main reasons we chose this place is because of the pool. So it better be warm enough to get in there or I'm gonna be super bummed out. Um, it doesn't have to be warm enough outside, mind you, because like it, that's a heated pool. So it just has to be, I have to be a lead in the pool. Also, I brought a candle with me and I thought, oh, hi, this is probably really stupid, like who does that? But I keep finding other candles around here. So clearly I think other people, cause they don't even look like they came from the same places. Like there's one out in the patio and there's two in here. So I have a feeling like maybe other people have brought candles here too and just left them behind. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to get some writing done. Like I said, this was gonna be like a no writing day. So any words I get puts me ahead of my goal. I did bring with me, let me just show you. I did bring my 15,000 words present and I can't really remember. I think I think I might know what this is, but I can't really remember. Um, 
So I did bring that with me. I am, I need 7,000 words to get to that. And if I can't get to that in these days here, that's really bad anyway. I'll be way behind my goal. So I definitely have to get to that. I did not bring the next goal, the 25,000. So yeah, we'll see. Anyway, this was kind of a long chat about that and I will update you when I'm done writing. All right guys, it's only 8 p.m. I'm at 86.93 words and that is it for today because I am exhausted.